When pipes burst in mum of two Yasmin's home, the damage was extensive, so she called her insurer straight away. But four months on, Yasmin and her young family are still living in the same mess, so she contacted us. The smell of mould, as soon as you walk up there, you can smell it. It is just horrible. Partitioned by plastic sheeting, holes in the shower. So these are the holes in the tiles from when it first burst, and they've been like this since October. And no ceiling whatsoever. It's just atrocious, really. It's just in such a bad state that you shouldn't be here. Yasmin Thompson has been living in her Albion Park Rail home with her two young children, including baby Hunter and her mother Nirvana, for the last four years. Last October, the pipes burst in the main bathroom. There's not just damage here, it's also damaged the ensuite next door. Yasmin's family contacted their insurer, Real Insurance, to make a claim. The insurer hired a subcontractor, John's Ling Group, to make repairs. They discovered more damage and had to remove the ceiling. That was nearly four months ago. It's pretty horrible. We feel like we're living in a third world country. We pay our insurance. Why should we have to live like this? Now there's mould in the bathrooms, which Yasmin claims is having an impact on her mother's health. Mum got bronchitis from sleeping in there because she was unaware of how bad the mould actually was. And the smell. You can really smell that. You really can. Yeah. And that's what the sheets are supposedly supposed to protect, is from the mould. But you still can smell it even on a windy day. Yasmin can't understand the hold-up. So where, where are you showering? Outside, all the way out the back. And I have to take the kids outside too. She says she understands that getting repairs done over Christmas and New Year can be tricky, but after being forced to shower in the backyard night after night, she's at her wit's end. Yasmin's mother's room is now blocked off and she's been sleeping on the floor of the lounge room. And we've been having issues with bugs, with the walls being exposed and the roof and stuff like that. We've never had issues with bugs. Temporary accommodation was offered, then taken away, and then re-offered. And Yasmin says the other properties on offer were either too far away from her eldest child's school or they weren't safe for a baby. They didn't accommodate the pets or actually take into consideration of the ages of my child. Yasmin has months and months of correspondence back and forth with the insurer yes. and the subcontractor, with each passing the buck back onto the next. The merry-go-round has been a headache, particularly over Christmas when Yasmin just wanted to be in the family home. We pay insurance on time, Mum pays it all, she's never missed a payment and this is how we're treated. Mum has never made a claim before, but this is how we're going to be treated. When we contacted Real Insurance for a response, they told us, we feel for the family and we are striving to do everything we can to fix this. We have been actively working with this customer for some time and will continue to do so to address not only their particular accommodation needs, but additional repairs at their home as well. To this end, our approved builder will be on site early next week pending customer's approval. We just want our house back. We want it back to the way it was as soon as possible. We don't want to keep going around in circles. We just want you to fix our house. Can't blame them for that. Good to see some common sense there. You can read the insurer's full statement on our website.